until the resurgence of QR codes in 2020, when restaurants started to use them and marketing companies started to use them, and to be honest, the technology on phones kind of caught up to being able to use and interpret them, um, QR codes were going to go away. They weren't really used that much, but now you see them everywhere and you see them in lieu of business cards and you see them in print and marketing campaigns. So I'm going to show you how you on your own WordPress site can create a directory of QR codes that you can use and control yourself. Uh, it's very nice to use a lot of link shorteners and QR code generators, but if those companies go away, your links go away. So I'm a big fan of owning your own tech. I'm going to show you how you can set up your own QR codes using your own website. So here we go. First thing you do is you load up a plugin called shortcodes ultimate right here shortcodes ultimate so to find it you just go to plugins go to add new you can go to the search and then search for shortcodes ultimate pretty simple gotta spell it right in order to get there okay once you get there, this is what it looks like, and you're gonna install it, and then you're gonna activate it, and then you're done. The next thing you do is um, create a page. Uh, I've got a QR code page here that I've created to store all of them. You just need really one page where you can have all of them. You're not gonna give this page out to people. Uh, you're just gonna use it for your own purposes. And so once you start a new page, um, if you're using Elementor, you can use the short codes block, but it's really kind of easier to use the block editor for this. What you do is you click on this plus sign right here and you click on short code. When you do that, it looks like the normal short, short code uh, box here, except right here, there's an insert short code. This is the new um, plugin that has created this. And you can use it for all of these things, right? You can put in RSS feeds and tables and CSV tables, there's just all this extra stuff. It's really, really useful. But what we care about is this QR code. So click on QR code here, and then it's going to pop open all of your, um, for lack of a better word, um, variables, right? So you can, if you wanted to put a QR code on pages on your website, you could use these variables here and do percent current underscore URL percent to display the URL here, but you can send them anywhere you want. So in this data right here, you can put in the link that you want to send them to. So for example, if you're using the new Amazon attribution, you can send them to that link. If you want them to go to um, a contact form on your page, you can go there. What this does then is if you're going to put QR codes in the back matter, you can come in here and change this. So if you have a a monthly special and you want to change out the, the destination, you can change it out anytime you want. You can't do that with a lot of other QR code generating services or, um, that you don't control or own, right? So always own your own stuff. So you can put in any URL and then you can put in a title and then you can change the size. You can create a margin. You can have it align. None of this really kind of matters. Uh, and then you can put a link here. This isn't the link that it's going to go to that's here. The link that you want it when someone scans it, this is where you want them to go. But you can put this in here so that when it displays on the page, it's clickable uh, on a web browser. You can do a link target, you can change the color, you can do background colors. You can, with their uh, supersonic premium plugin, you can set it up so that you have a super image in the middle of it that's like your your logo. Um, but for the free version, this will get you started. So then you just click on insert short code and then it's got all of this here. It doesn't look very special, but when you hit preview, you will see I've created two of them here. So this first one pops up here and the second one pops up here. Now they're going to look pretty similar because I did the exact same thing to them. Um, but in order to use that, you can right click on it and you can save image as, and then you can use that in all of your print products. You can put this in the back matter of your books. You can put it on your business cards. You can you put it anywhere you would like. And that's how you create a QR code that you own and control.